Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want you to hear this little scene. Now, this scene is from a movie called, excuse me, trying to see what the name of it is. Uh, let's see. Okay. Don't know what the name of it is. So, but this is about a married couple who just got married. This is their supposedly their honeymoon. So it's only been about 10 days, right? She's missing her mom. She's getting frustrated because he doesn't look like he's interested in ever leaving. Now, what he has done was plant them in the middle of the woods, near a river, where nobody, no friends, no family can get to her. She cannot get to them. This is a perfect example of seeing red flags in the beginning of a marriage where the man is abusive, domineering, and possessive. I want you to hear this little dialogue between the two of them. Now, the first thing I have to do is set the volume so it's not too loud. Okay, here we are. I am your husband now, and you are my wife. I'm not some flunky boyfriend that you can just kick around as you see fit. And if I don't leave, then you don't leave. I'm going to check my traps. Now, later on, she's in another room. Let's see if this is a good spot. He comes in apologizing. And she's trying to figure out if she can get out of there. She's mad. She's having a fit. That's what all the banging noise is. Okay? And she's frustrated because she's helpless. She can't defend herself against this guy. So anyway, she's like, what have I done? Right? Think about that. Now here he comes back. And he, he he's apologizing. Listen to this. Julia. I'm sorry, I yelled at you. I, I should never yell at you like that. It'll never happen again, I promise. Doesn't that sound nice? It sounds so genuine. It sounds so sincere. But guess what? Further on in the movie, she's getting slapped around and punched. She's literally chained. He chains her down. Where she can never run away because she attempted to in a rowboat. Now, the sad part about this is, had she recognized the red flags at the beginning of the relationship, this marriage, this big mistake, would never have taken place. But we women have a love affair with denial, now don't we? That is so sad. It turns out, she ended up having to shoot his arm off just about. She got her hands on the shotgun, left him there, and he shot himself while she was getting away. You could tell that she that he was abused because he said one thing at the wedding reception, which would have made me change my mind about going anywhere far away from him. The biggest red flag I heard was his toast in the wedding. He said, if my father had known that I knew my wife less than a year before I asked her to marry me, he would have locked me up in the basement. And anytime you have somebody who lived a childhood of abuse, you can bet your bottom dollar, baby, they're going to be equal as a monster or worse. That's right. So listen up, ladies, and listen up, men. Choose your partners carefully. Be very careful what you ask for.